It was in banking that she found the most challenging. She turned BDO into the largest lender in the Philippines and the group's biggest cash cow through daring acquisitions, 15 in total, worth over 1 billion US dollars. But taking on Equitable Bank was her riskiest gamble, a giant with assets that was double the size of BDO. You made a risky move way back in 2005 by acquiring a bigger bank, Equitable PCI Bank. Mm -hmm. Did you ever imagine the backlash you would receive as a result of the move? You know, it's more of uh, ignorance. I went into it on 204. I thought that I was just buying, asking the family to invest in the stake of a bigger bank. I did not know that there was so much, uh, 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 so much backlash, so much, uh, so many oppositions to it, because I was just, just a middle, uh, just a mid-sized bank, and I'm not one of the big boys. Uh, I had a lot of problems for two and a half years, but that taught me a lot of things in many aspects. So I thought, uh, but you know, I think I was lucky. Uh, I was able to do it after two and a half years. It, I went through a period where I would not want to wish it on anyone. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess everything just fell into pieces, um, you know, at the right, the right pieces at the right, at the right time. So we got in about end of 2007. Mm -hmm. And since it was a very difficult, uh, um, uh, difficult process, you know, so I thought that if we do it, we have to do it right. And I have good team, I have a good organization in the bank that rally uh, uh, behind me. After another year, we became number one in somewhere at the end of 2008. Mm -hmm. Uh, when there are a lot of global crisis because of the Lehman Brothers. Um, so I guess people did not notice that we were, we were inching up. Mm -hmm. So when we got the number one positions, we, for, after a few more months, we said, this is it. Uh, guys, we are not turning back. So we just move on and on and on. Mm -hmm. And that is what we are today. Your first acquisition of Equitable, I mean, you had actually instigated a move that could have actually failed. Oh yes, did I thought it failed. Did your father agree with the decision you've made? Uh, I guess maybe, maybe he loved me more, so he did not really make it more difficult uh, for me than what other people he did. He forgave you? Yeah, he just told me to just uh, step aside and that, that is what we did and let the events unfold by itself. And the events actually just uh, unfold to, um, to our favor. On hindsight, would you have made the same decision? If I am that uh, naive and ignorant, I would make the same decision. But, but right now that I'm in this position, I don't think I'll be, I would make it, I would do it in that manner. I would really be more aggressive.